Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video, I'm doing something different. I'm testing out a portable power station here and a modular battery system. This is the Blue T AC300, the B300, and those solar panels here in front of me are their 350 watt portable solar panels. Now, this is a great setup here for emergencies or maybe even an RV. We've got a battery bank that has a capacity of 3,072 watt hours, but it's modular. You can add more batteries, bringing it up to a total capacity over 12,000 watt hours if you did need that. Now it does support 3000 watts with a peak of 6000 watts and it's using the Life PO4 cells. So this thing is rated for a huge amount of cycles. Now around about the 3500 mark with the battery cycles, the capacity will drop down about 80%. And then around 6000 cycles, that capacity will be about 50%. So that's a huge long life battery cell here that it does use and these modular designs here. As you'd expect, they come really well packaged up with a lot of padding around them, well boxed, no damage either to it, plus the PV350 solar panel. Again, really well packaged up. In the box, you will find our AC300 portable power station user guide. We have a little certificate there that is telling us that it's passed quality control, warranty card, and this right here. They are part of the LAAF program, which is Light and African Family. And it's just a little award there just to let you know that you've helped out with that with your purchase, of course, of this. For bundled cables that are included, we do have our AC cable, car charging cable, and then a solar cable too. Then what is included with the modular battery, which is the B300, you'll find our power cable to connect it up. We do even have a solar cable, a user guide, warranty card, and the battery, which is double boxed, a lot of padding around it, just like the power station and a plastic wrap. The B300, as you can see, is a 3072 watt hour modular battery. It is large in size, but I like the way that they have separated the power station from the modular batteries. They're not both in one. For obvious reasons, it does make it a little bit cheaper when later on, imagine in 10 years, you need to replace the battery. We don't need to replace the whole unit, the power station that is, just the battery. The B300 modular battery has its own power button right here. You've got a power button there to turn DC on, a battery indicator with some little LEDs behind it, LEDs. And then we've got a type A 18 watt port here, a USB type C up to 100 watts supporting power delivery, a 12 volt DC 10 amp port. Then on the right side, the connections for our battery. So there are two of them here. Of course, modular design, you can keep hooking up more batteries to this. Very solid looking port. And I'll show you the connector of it in just a minute. And here we do have on the left side our DC input. So we have the solar input right here. So that is from 12 to 60 volts DC, 10 amps. And then here a DC plug, which is 58.8 volts DC, 8 amps. And as you'd expect, these connectors, they are chunky, very heavy duty industrial style. So they lock into place. And look at the gauge of this cable. So it is rated up to 500 volts. And it's understandable. They've used, of course, a really good quality cable here. The amount of current that's gonna go through this. So it is safe and very secure, the fact that it locks into place. I do like this. Then this is what the B300 looks like with the station on top of it, the AC300. Now I'm only showing this outside just for the purposes of this video. You should not run them in the sun for obvious reasons. Could lead to overheating. Now there's a built-in battery management system. It's got a lot of safety in there. So if it does get too hot, of course there's fans that come on to keep it cool, but it will end up shutting itself off. And then the UV rays could damage the plastic. Our port's available then with the AC300. Well, we've got a 12 volt, 30 amps. So that's a lot, 30 amps for your RVs, motorhomes, the connection there. Then we have the car port here, but they do have a warning. This is the 24 volt plug. So don't mix that, of course, with 12 volt connections. If you want 12 volts, it's on the battery bank itself down below. And then our AC outputs here. So I've got the European version obviously here. So this is 220 to 240 volts. And we do have six here, which is really good. 3000 watts, but it can peak up to 6000 watts just for a short period 
if the demand is there for that. So here we have our DC outputs. We've got USB-C, 100 watts, and then a type A, 18 watts times two of them, right there, okay? And then a, another two type A's, they are lower power, so they're 15 watts max. And then our power button, and then this I really like, the competitors out there are missing this feature, and that is Qi standard wireless charging. So imagine if you're in an emergency situation, you've got your phone with you, but you don't know where the cable is, or you've simply lost it, well, at least you can place your phone or your other tech that supports Qi wireless standard on top of this and charge it. Even if it is slow, it's only 15 watts max, it's a really good option to have with this power station. The power station has the two battery connections. We do have over this side on the left then, our AC input, so that is 16 amps maximum. 220 volts to 240 volts, and then we do have a DC input, which is 12 volts to 150 volts, or 12 amps times two, and then a communication port there at the bottom. Now the charging time of this pack here, if you're using solar plus AC, one and a half hours to charge it, and it can take up to 2,400 watts solar charging, which none of the competition does seem to have, not at least at that kind of wattage. And if you use two AC connections at the same time, you can charge it in around 1.8 to about 2.3 hours, which again is really quick. Now the build quality of them is very good. The plastics, the finish, everything, it's absolutely top notch. This does not look cheap, feel cheap. They are quality batteries and power stations. So are their products reliable? Well, I do have a smaller 500 watt hour battery from them. It's with their Power Oak brand, but Blue Tea, it's the same thing, the same brand. And I've had it for years now and I've been using it a lot. It's probably had at least uh, 250 cycles. Not an issue with it at all. Nothing has gone wrong with it. Nothing is broken. It's still working as it was when it was new. So I wanted to do a little bit of a solar panel test here. Unfortunately, the last week, or in fact, actually fortnight, it's been a little bit cloudy. It's a little hazy. I'm not gonna have the peak solar power here, but it's just to give you an idea. Along with my own solar panel here, which is a huge one, this is 450 watts. I've got the Bluetti 350 watt maximum portable solar panel here. Now this particular panel is called the PV350. So these portable panels do have a very good build quality to them. The fabric they've used is great. The stitching looks all fine. And you'll see they've got some little buckles there so you can fold it all up and then two little handles at the top. There is this pouch where you will find neatly stowed away within it our cables there using the standard solar connectors, as you can see. And here are the technical specs of that panel if you did want to know that, just pause the video. There are four panels in total, and each of them have these little legs that you can pull out. They are attached with Velcro. Again, the build quality does look to be very good. Now, according to the screen on the AC300, I am only generating around 320 watts. It does make sense because even though it looks really sunny, it's very hazy. There's a bit of light cloud in front there that's blocking off, unfortunately, the rays there a little bit. So we're not getting as much sun as I could possibly hope for here. And I'll try and test this out on a very sunny, clear day, but it's looking good. That's what I kind of expected for these conditions being all hazy and with this light cloud cover. Now there really are a thousand uses for a power bank such as this. Now outdoor garden tools, it will power all of them normally. Well, I don't think there's any really that I can think of that exceed 3000 watts with a peak of course of 6000. So I could run multiple power tools at the same time, but I'm gonna give it a quick little test here in the garden. So soon Blue Tea will have an option to charge it at EV stations, but until then, for an emergency power source, you can use generators, or probably the closest and handiest would be your car's cigarette lighter socket. So here with my car, it's a maximum output of only 180 watts. But let's have a look at the charging rate now. Now note, you can connect it up to the power station or the modular battery. So it is only just charging at over 100 watts. So this is a very slow rate, of course, compared to AC. 
But if you needed to charge the modular battery there and you were in emergency situations, it's at least an option that we do have. Now a touch screen. So it is a color screen as you can see. And of course inside uh, it's a little clearer now here, but you can still make it out in direct sunlight. So we've got our options here to turn the DC on, AC on and off. You can see the load here, the grid. So it is currently charging from the grid. I don't have any solar panels plugged in. Otherwise that would show up. DC load. Now I'll just flick on something I've got connected to it and you'll see straight away that it's pulling now almost 2000 watts. And I did see the lights flicker, so it looks like it is taking from the grid as well and not touching those batteries yet. Now it can work as a UPS too. You've got options for that, which I'll show you now. So under settings, you can see we've got language, You've got the voltage options here with the European version that I've got. You can set it to either 220, 230 or 240, the frequency, so 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Your DC1 input, solar panels or other, and the DC2 input, you can select that. We've got a buzzer settings, eco, you can turn it on to eco mode, working mode, so standard uninterrupted power supply, UPS. You've got timed control, uh, the solar panel, Priority, PV priority, or customize UPS2 there. So you can select what you want. Uh, the max grid input current, you're able to control that too as well. And you'll see here that we do have a parallel enable if you want for PV, Bluetooth, Bluetooth state, wireless, and that's to do with the connection with the application and the battery station itself. Touch sound, brightness control here, sleep time settings. Now there is a fan in it that is cooling it down. Now when it's under load, that is load charging or load when it's discharging, you do hear that fan. And I will give you a sample of it later on. It really depends on the load, how loud it will be. So just go back home here, you can see some data. So if you want to look at the inverter and charger info, you can have a look there and see, okay, I want to see the grid input and it will give me the stats on that. So it's currently just over 200 volts. You can see pulling over 200 watts and the Hertz is close to 50 there. Pretty standard DC output and the solar information there too. If you did need that, it's all in here. So plenty of information. You've got battery information too. If you connect up more cells, they will show in here. I only have the one battery module. Alarm history, so I haven't had any alarms. I haven't been able to trigger it just yet, but I'll see if I can later. Then the Blue Tea application you can get on iOS or Android. Now it is a straightforward application. You don't need to register for it. You can just connect up with Bluetooth to the AC300, which I've done right now. And you have some of the settings that you get when you look at the touchscreen and use that. So we've got the DC, AC, you can turn it on and off remotely, which is great. Imagine you've got it down in your basement or something like that. Then you can control it without actually being there in person. You can get quick stats here. You can see the grid, solar, uh, what we're using for DC and AC, and then you can take a look at the battery pack itself too. So we can get some information that with the battery management system. So you can see pack two connected. It's telling me there that it's uh, discharging. And if you've got other packs connected up, then you would see those details. So it is a straightforward, simple, but practical application. So I have two phones on the top of it now that are wirelessly charging. Both of them are wirelessly charging at around about 15 watts. I've got a laptop plugged in. So I've got a bit of load uh, that's up to 100 watts there on the DC side of things. So DC is working reasonably hard there. Yes, I could plug in a few more. But what I want to do now is load it up. I'm going to plug in a kettle. You can see there's a kettle down here just at the corner of the video and then an iron. Now the iron's up around over 2000 watts peak. The kettle is about 2000. So that will go over the 3000 rating. I just wanted to see how long will it allow me to peak over the 3000 watts. So I have the kettle on that is boiling. That's now an AC load of 2000 watts. I have the iron going and let's turn on the hairdryer maximum setting. 4,000 watts. All right, it's triggered an alarm. And there we go. It has cut that out straight away. It's just cut everything off. And that was only around 4,000 watts beeping at me to tell me inverter overload protection, overload warning. Okay, so that's good that it's got that built in safety. You can't overload it, but I was hoping it would let me peak for a little bit longer there. So you really don't want to be going over that 3,000 watts. 
Then a quick test is using it as a UPS. You can see that it's got the grid connected. It's pulling just around 2000 watts. And then when I turn it off, it continues without a problem. Straight away, just switching over then to the battery bank. And here's what it sounds like when it's under full load. So it's been discharging at about 2,500 watts and charging around 2,000. You can hear the fans either side. So this is a quick sample of what to expect. It's a little loud. It's not super annoying or offensive, but you do hear it. So overall, this is a very versatile system here that Blue Tea has. I do like the AC300, the fact that it's separate, the power station from the batteries, and it's a modular design. Quality, solid cables that lock into place. You've got plenty of output options, input options as well. You can charge it really quick with two AC cables in just one and a half hours. You can charge it, of course, via DC uh, with your car. You've got solar up to 2,400 watts, which is pretty incredible. And it's gonna be great for emergency situations. There's an energy, energy crisis, you have power cuts. Well, you could run your fridge for five hours with just the single battery bank here to stop the food going off, your freezer, whatever. You could run a washing machine for almost about three hours with this at around 500 watts. The uses of it are endless. And of course, if you do go for the maximum capacity, you could even connect up with their home system, your entire house to run off this particular system here. That's the flexibility that it does have. I love the fact that it has the two Qi wireless charging pads at the top of it. Other brands don't even opt for this. And I know, yes, you could plug one in, of course, but as I pointed out, imagine you lost your cables, you're in an emergency situation, but you happen to have this here with you. At least you can charge your phone, make an emergency call or whatever. You're gonna be up and running when you don't have a cable. Flexibility of it is great. It can handle surges up to 6,000 watts if need be. If you're plugging in a couple of appliances and there's that extra load that's going to go through, then of course um, you will hear the fans come on too as well, which is one of the downsides of these that when you put it under those high loads, it has to cool down the internals. It's got plenty of safety built into it. So battery, battery, battery management system, the application overall, it is a really solid package here from Blue Tea, the AC300 with their solar panels as well. If you were gonna go camping, or even though it's quite big, or you're in an RV kind of setup, you've got a motor home, it's another option you do have is you could get these solar panels here, put them up, charge up the modular battery, and you're probably good for camping in an RV or something like that, your motor home all night, and then you're ready to go the next day, or you might have one of these solar panels on the roof, and then you're good to go. So thank you so much for watching my video here of the Blue T AC300 system, the B300, the PV350, and many thanks to Blue T for sending out all this gear here to me so I could review it and cover it here.